Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the smartphone history. And um, I'm not going to of course show every smartphone that existed before the iPhone, but I think it's just a nice little video to post. Too many people think the iPhone is the first smartphone and that is not at all the case. Uh, like everybody thinks that, you know, Apple was made the first computer and stuff like that. And all of that is untrue. Uh, you know, Apple never was the first in any product. It usually improved upon some products or uh, basically just, you know, mostly have a great marketing team, a marketing strategy that works really well in selling our, uh, you know, the products, basically. So here's a brief history of some of the smartphones that actually made it. Um, one of the first ever smartphones that existed goes way back to 1992 and this is the smartphone. It's the IBM Simon and you see here it has an LCD screen, a uh, stylus and of course has a phone design. So this was, was basically pretty much one of the first if not the first smartphone on the market and we're in 1992, a full 15 years before the uh, smart the iPhone ever existed gives you an idea that the smartphone goes back a long way then you've got the 1996 Nokia 900 communicator one of the first to be popular enough to actually um, really make it um, to uh, a lot of consumers especially in Japan apparently uh, during the uh, 90s Nokia 900 communicator, once again, stylus with uh, a screen here and of course phone design and kind of a clamshell type uh, phone so you just close it and you have a regular phone in your hands. So uh, another one, this is a 1996 model. Then we have the two ta year 2000, we have the Ericsson, Ericsson R380, the Ericsson R380. This also was a very popular handset. Uh, this one made um, a lot of sales in Japan at the time. And so, uh, you know, that was the most popular uh, smartphone of the time, two, the year 2000. So basically still LCD, black and white, but uh, has, you know, the basic functionalities of, uh, of email and uh, calendar and, of course, the phone, stuff like that, all sorts of personal, personal details. You know, b back then we're in the time where PDAs, personal digital assistants, like the Palm uh, devices, are extremely popular. So phones actually take from the PDA and, you know, try to put the personal digital assistant within the cellular phone, basically. Now we're in 2000, seven years before, and we can move a little upwards in time and go into the Palm 30180. Palm was very popular in the late 90s, early 2000s with their PDAs, their personal digital assistants. If you ever owned a Palm, you actually remember this uh, layout here, which was very, very unique to the uh, uh, Palm OS operating system at the time. And this is the first venture into not just being a PDA, but also being a phone, the Palm 30180. Um, and so uh, that's um, really, it came in a little late and that, that was probably one of the problems because uh, Palm had the market for personal digital assistance back then. If they would have been quick enough, they probably could have won the smartphone market way before the iPhone ever appeared but unfortunately they were kind of late in the game. They were still hanging on to the PDAs, the personal digital assistants, thinking that that future will be, uh, you know, still bright. Well, REM, RIM, or what a lot of people uh, remember as BlackBerry, I owned actually one of those. In 2003, 2004, BlackBerry model 6000 series, this is the 7000 series. 6000 series look pretty much like this, but with a black and white screen, LCD screen. The 7000 series introduced a color screen. Once again, mix of a personal digital assistant with a phone. And uh, this was one of the favorites of BlackBerry for 
of course, BlackBerry was known for the security and for how uh, they handled and helped everybody with their devices. So these were very, very popular devices. BlackBerry also could have won that market before iPhone. Uh, once again, um, especially since they were really dominating <coughs> for some time the market. It's kind of uh, hard to understand that they, they weren't able to pull it off and have some great devices afterwards. So this, we're talking 2003, 2004, four, three and four years before the iPhone. So uh, you see the evolution here. Then we've got uh, 2003 also, uh, what is one of the first Windows phones with Windows CE 2003. Um, this is the HP iPack cell phone. This was one of the uh, Windows phones. So once again, you can see that we're in 2003 and Microsoft also had with its partners like HP, Windows phones before the iPhone. So a lot of people are before. Microsoft, you know, a big player. Uh, a lot of people say, hey, they came in late into the smartphone. They did not. They came in late with their own branded smartphone. But they did have a mobile operating system for smartphones and portable devices before the iPhone ever appeared. So it shows you that iPhone is far from being the first. Of course, original iPhone. This is a game changer. Apple, with its extremely well-made marketing strategy, introduced us to this device, which was a little clunky, crashed all the time, wasn't the perfect device, but, you know, they pulled it off. And for the first time, you had a little more in a device. You had the possibility to have your music, to have, um, you know, it was an iPod with a phone. It played in, and had apps. It had an app store. You could install games and all sorts of apps. So, you know, it really revolutionized the smartphone market um, and, and gave it a general direction, uh, which is interesting. And last but not least, because we're not going to go up to 2017, of course, we're going to end with the first Android phone, which was the HTC Dream. Um, Android coming from a kind of a Linux world. So basically, this was the first uh, smartphone running something called Android or what would be really Android in the future, the HTC Dream. We were in 2008. So um, what's interesting here is Google was very late in the game, 2008, after the iPhone. But Android is today the dominating mobile operating system. Uh, more Android phones are sold every day than um, iOS phones or iPhones. So uh, kind of interesting. And of course, you know, we go on and on with all sorts of new devices. And today, Samsung being probably the biggest Android um, device seller. Uh, iPhone, of course, dominating its market also, and uh, especially in the United States, but still, you know, pulling it off pretty well. In a world where... In 2017, the smartphone market is actually saturated, and uh, we're at a time where uh, sal sales of, of smartphones are actually uh, lower for the first time than the previous year. That's what we've seen in 2016. So this was a very quick look at the smartphone market and the history behind it. But uh, I got to say, you know, you probably have your favorite smartphone that you've seen, owned, or that you've had somebody in your family, a home that's not in here. You know, I couldn't, uh, I would have spent three hours just talking of all the phones that appeared here and there. I took some of the most popular models. And uh, just to show you that, well, nope, the iPhone was not first. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.